Well, concerns have been raised over Kevin Rudd's new hardline asylum seeker policy at a special meeting of Labor MPs. But Caucus has backed the plan to send all asylum seekers coming by boat on to Papua New Guinea. The Prime Minister has also won support for his sweeping reforms of the Labor Party after giving some ground. Rudd is making no apologies for his hardline stance on asylum seekers. And I will not be Prime Minister of Australia and see the entire uh, immigra orderly immigration system itself threatened by not sending a message such as this to the people smuggling industry around the world. And the Department of Immigration is going one step further, posting a video of a crying woman saying she was coming to terms with not being transferred to Australia. More fuel for the small group of protesters who greeted Kevin Rudd. There was some concern expressed inside the meeting too, but senior figures of Labor's left are sticking to the new party line. I'm not going to apologise for trying to stop people drowning in rough waters coming to Australia. The policy was rubber stamped. Some details are still being worked on. This particular deal is unravelling before our very eyes. It doesn't say that everyone who comes to Australia illegally by boat will go to PNG. The Immigration Minister says asylum seeker children sent to PNG will be able to go to school, but that may take some time. That's one of the reasons that I've, that I've taken the kids off uh, Manus when I first came in as an Immigration Minister. There's a few of the minimum standards that I want to be able to provide for children that aren't there now. He's acknowledged asylum seekers who fail security assessments could stay in Australia. Whether it's detention in Australia or whether it's detention in Papua New Guinea or whether it's detention uh, somewhere else, the critical thing will be uh, they certainly will not be settled in Australia. The main reason for today's caucus meeting was to sign off on Kevin Rudd's sweeping Labor Party reforms, which will give party members a vote on who the leader should be. There was debate on this too and some ground given. 75% of caucus members would have to sign a petition to force out a leader in government. The Prime Minister agreed to make it a little easier to dump a leader, but only in opposition. Under those circumstances, the leader uh, would uh, be uh, open to a future ballot uh, if there was a petition of 60% of the uh, members of the Federal Parliamentary Party rather than 75%, as is the case for the party uh, when we are in government. The changes will be discussed at the next Labor Party conference, but Kevin Rudd had a strong message to unions. His reforms won't be undone. This will be the model we take into the future. Caucus's rubber stamping of Kevin Rudd's party reform clears the way for an early election. Those close to Kevin Rudd say he simply hasn't made up his mind.